Well, we have dry conditions out there on the roads, but unfortunately, that's all that we have going for us because they are so busy out there. Lance and I, right now, we are on the Beltway on the outer loop right around Towson. You can see brake lights. We're starting to really slow down here. So, the biggest problems that we're still seeing, the Beltway is certainly going to be one of them, inner and outer loop. The bigger concern right now is 95. So, if you are heading out on 95, it's slow in both directions. Northbound is definitely the slowest, with the heaviest being just prior. To White Marsh Boulevard, that's going to slow you down almost up to the Habit of Grace point. Then southbound 95, the heaviest there from Route 24, and that's going to take you all the way to the Beltway. So, a couple of options for you. What I would suggest you could take Route 40, you could take Route 7, even Bel Air Road. So, very busy commute out there, but again, at least the roads are dry. So, once again, that's all we have going for us in the positive. Derek? Thanks, Christy. Again, that's one of those things. You just got to take it easy on the roadways, and at least weather is not something that's going to be an issue here for tonight, other than perhaps maybe some sun glare here in the next several minutes before the sun goes down. But as you can see behind me, we don't have any precipitation anywhere close to our area, so we're going to be looking at dry conditions here into tomorrow, but that will not be the case on Black Friday as we're expecting rain to begin moving to the area here as early as Friday morning. Temperatures made it up to 60 this afternoon, unofficially out at BWI Thurgood Marshall. Temperatures into the mid to upper 50s elsewhere, so pretty nice recovery after a chilly start once again into the low 30s. It looks like as we go throughout tonight, though, temperatures falling through the 40s by midnight tonight. We'll be back into the upper 30s and then low to mid 30s here as you wake up early tomorrow morning. High pressure still in control of our weather, and when you look at the entire lower 48, there's not a lot going on. A little bit of moisture here with the southern branch of the jet causing a few showers across the Florida Peninsula. Some showers trying to get going here with a developing storm system out in the plain. And then a front causing a little bit of snow shower activity through parts of the northern Rockies. But that's really it. Most of the country, though, dealing with uh, relatively quiet conditions as far as uh, any significant storm systems. We're just not seeing them across the country causing any problems. Here's your hourly planner for tomorrow. Thanksgiving Day looking fantastic. Plenty of sun. Mid to upper 50s here during the afternoon, staying dry. But then. Black Friday, different story. Clouds are going to roll in later tomorrow night. By the time you wake up, we're going to have scattered showers around and will likely be contending with those throughout the day. I do think, though, that once uh, things start to uh, wind down during the day, at least uh, once we get to the close of the day, I should say, on Friday, front's going to come through the area that will shut the rain down and the winds are going to pick up a little bit. Temperatures are falling into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees here by Friday evening into Friday night. So here comes the front pushing through the area on Friday. So we'll be watching for that as it pushes on. On through, and then you can see the clouds increasing there on Saturday as the next storm system approaches, giving us those chances for rain by Saturday night into Sunday. So here's a look at your first third seven day forecast. Again, tomorrow looks great. A few clouds, 57, 56 on Friday with chances for showers, then dry Saturday with more rain moving in on Sunday. Back over to you.